I know a lot of you have different opinions on Ned Luke. Uh, some of you like him, some of you don't. You know, he has a tendency of ping-ponging between being beloved by the community and then being disliked for doing things like defending the re-re-release of GTA 5. He'll do stuff like trash talk Mr. Boss for the win, thus earning him pats on the back from the community, but then he'll turn around and provoke a backlash by defending one of the most boring things Rockstar has ever done. And although there are things that I disagree with him on, I've never seen him say or do anything that has made me lose all respect for him. But it seems like some of his recent Twitter antics were enough to do that for some people. Which kind of makes me wonder, like if all it took for you to lose any respect you had for him was him making a tweet you didn't like, like did you really have that much respect for him in the first place? It's like, yeah, I used to respect this person, but then they defended a video game being re-released. It's like, ah, oh, I used to like Ned Luke, but now I just can't. I, I don't know, man. Like, just, is that all it took? Whatever, just, it seems a bit silly to me, but hey, what do I know? So, Ned Luke recently did this Instagram live stream, and somebody asked him, Hey, Ned, what do you think about Saints Row? To which, he had this to say. You ever played Saint Ro Saints Row? No, I don't play posers. <laughs> Imitation, highest form of flattery. Hmm, yeah, clones. Never mind the fact that GTA Online has, um, taken a lot of inspiration from Saints Row. And of course, you could chalk a lot of this up to being coincidental, but it's pretty f***. And clear, at least in my opinion, that at least some of this stuff, like a futuristic flying motorcycle, has obviously been put into Grand Theft Auto Online as a way to appeal to the Saints Row crowd. <laughs> Even the people running the official Saints Row Twitter page know this. So at first when people suggested that he should at least give the game a fair chance before dismissing it, uh, he showed little to no interest at all. And so people kept egging him on until eventually the Saints Row Twitter page took notice of this and joined in. Send me a copy, he said and send him a copy, they did. Now, unfortunately, they did not send him Saints Row 2, which they should have done. Instead, they sent him 3, 4, 5, or whatever number the latest one is. And, uh, yeah, it seems like he's thoroughly enjoying the game so far. Who the hell is Johnny Gat? I'm gonna be honest, I only played Saints Row 2 and 3, in my view, which I know matters a lot. Saints Row 3 was kind of a letdown. It's not a bad game, it's just not that interesting. Hey, whatever, just my opinion. Actually, it's not just my opinion, I've seen a lot of you expressing the same sentiment. To which Ned responded, you get what you get. On the bright side, it appears that he's also gonna get the other games in due time. So if nothing else, he can at least get some enjoyment out of playing as himself in Saints Row 3. So, uh, yeah, happy ending, right? <laughs> well, no. A lot of people, and I mean a lot of people, are still upset that he had the temerity to speak ill about Saints Row. And I have a theory as to why he did it. Okay, so, look. Ned Luke is a bit of a boomer, <laughs> okay? I don't, I don't mean that in, like, a negative way. In all fairness, there's a little bit of boomer in all of us. I think that the thought process that led to Ned making this comment in the first place was him thinking that it would actually kind of appeal to a lot of the GTA fans who follow him. Dissing Mr. Boss for the win resulted in hundreds of thousands of people cheering him on. Boss man! So he probably thought that dissing what some consider to be a rival video game franchise would give a similar result. And again, Ned Luke being a bit of a boomer means that he probably doesn't have the same level of insight into the attitudes surrounding video games as much as most of us do. He's also a big sport sports fan, and in sports, there's a lot of riffing that goes on between teams and cities. So I think the reaction that he was expecting was gonna be something along the lines of, yeah, our franchise is so much better. Saints Row? Pfft, that's a f***ing GTA wannabe clone th mimic thing. Yeah, get wrecked, Saints Row. How do you like them apples? But of course, instead, he unknowingly annoyed a lot of people who enjoy playing both games. Because bear in mind, there is a huge overlap of people who play GTA and Saints Row. And Saints Row has always been labeled a GTA clone. So let's say that you're a popular GTA cast member, and you want to appeal to your fans. You haven't played any of the Saints Row games. All you know is that a lot of people consider the Saints Row series to be a GTA clone. Based on that, it may seem like a good idea to praise one at the expense of the other, but uh, no, it's not. They, they both appeal to the same crowd. I don't know, just my two cents on this. But uh, yeah, how do you feel about this f***ing travesty? Tell me all about it in the comments below. And as always, stay classy. Peace.